So we continue with the revision. In this video, let us have a look at uh, the venial calipers as one of the instruments that is used to measure length. And you need to know what kind of length the venial calipers measure as even study. Okay, so our main business in this one, we are going to answer questions. And what I want you to understand is how to get the readings on uh, the venial calipers. So here is the question that we are going to use. A figure B1.1 is a diagram showing the reading of the venial calipers. As you can see, what is the reading shown on the venial calipers? What is the reading shown on the venial calipers? So to find the reading on the venial calipers, one thing that you should know is that the venial calipers is made up of two scales. That is the main scale and the venial scale. For you to find the readings, you need to add the reading from the main scale. Then you add that of the venial uh, scale where you find the venial coincidence. Then you multiply the least count. Now, the least count is the constant, which is 0 0.01 in centimeter. And as one thing that you should know also is that reading uh, on the venial calipers, you get them uh, the unit you use centimeters. So now, if this is the formula that we can use to find the readings, which means the first thing, let us find the main scale reading. So the main scale reading, as you can see, this is the upper part with the division going up. Okay, these that are going up. These are what we call, or this is what we call the, ven the main scale reading. And now one thing that you should know that each division here is a 0 0.1 centimeter. So each division is a 0 0.1 centimeter. So which means if this is 5, this is 5, then this is 5 point, uh, it just say 5 plus 0 0.1 because we've just added a one division for you to be at this point. To be at this point, you add 0 0.2. 0 0.3 0 0.4 so which means up to here is a 5 0 0.5 i mean meaning that 5 up to here is 5.5 i guess you get that so if you know that each division is the 0 0.1 centimeter then you are going to find it easy to get the readings okay so having said so how do you get the main scale reading so the main scale reading you pick it immediately before you close the venial scale so this down that you are seeing is the what is the venial scale and normally start from 0 to 10 so that is something that you should know so this is the venial scale down so immediately before so you don't you don't have to close this line that is what it means this line so you can pick immediately before which means the last division on the main scale is the one that you pick in this case it is this part that is the main scale reading now how do we pick it from what i've explained i said each one is a 0 point what uh, 0 0.1 so it means if this is 5 then there are 1 2 3 which is a 0 0.3 so 5 plus 5.0 plus 0 0.3 it gives us 5.3 so it means this is the 5.3 centimeter i want you to understand something here because uh it might seem to be simple but majority you find it challenging here so that is how you pick the main scale Okay, then the venial scale we are saying is the VC, which is the venial coincidence. Now, the venial coincidence is where you find the continuous line from the main scale to the venial scale, where they are coinciding. So, you go to the venial scale and start looking at this division. Is this continuous from up? No, it is just starting from here. Is this continuous? No. Is this continuous? Yes, as you can see. It's starting from the top there up to down there. So, that is what we call the venial coincidence, where they meet. So if we are to count from here, this is a 1, this is a 2, this is a 3. So each division down here is a 1 centimeter. That is something that you should know. Okay? Each division is a 1 centimeter. So, which means we have a 3 multiplied by the least count, which is 0 0.01, then centimeter. What are you going to find in the bracket? You are going to find 0 0.3. Okay? So you have, I mean 0 0.03. So you have 5.3 centimeter plus 0 0.03 centimeter and to add this you are going to find 5.33 centimeter as the reading for the uh, venial uh, uh, calipers okay 
Then for a second read for the second question convert the readings in A above in meters. So one skill that you should know as you go in an exam is you need to know how to convert. So convert uh, to inter convert from meter to um, centimeter from centimeter to millimeter even to kilometers. So these four units of um, length you need to know them how to inter convert. That is millimeter, centimeter, meter and kilometer. Okay? So how do you convert into um, meters? So you need to know that one meter is equals to 100 uh, centimeter. What about this one that we found 5.33 centimeter? Okay, this is X we do not know. So you cross multiply. So we are going to have, uh, we are going to have 100 centimeter X is equals to, when you multiply this and that, is equals to, let me just bring it here 100 centimeter 100 centimeter x is equals to x i mean this multiply that to be 5.33 centimeter then multiply meter divide 100 uh, centimeter divide 100 centimeter so this and that goes this goes x is equals to just the same as the 5.33 divide 100. I, I, I never wanted to go through uh, or to go to that. Okay, so 0.0, 0 it is going to give us 0 0.033 meter. Okay, confirm that is what you found. So the answer here, it is 0 0.0533, okay, meter. Then the second, uh, the second question of B, right there, uh, reading in B, which is the one that we found in meter in standard uh, notation. So write the reading in B1, which is the one that we've converted to meter in standard notation. So standard notation or scientific notation, to write the number in scientific notation, it has to be in the form A multiplied by 10 to the power N, where A is the number ranging from 1 to 9. So here there should be numbers ranging from 1 to 9. It might be 1.2 so long as it's in this range but there shouldn't be a zero there okay then n um, n is the number of steps that we move either going to the left or to the right moving the decimal okay it says just a, it's a it's just an integer it can be negative or positive so if the number is starting with a zero point something just know that the n will be negative because you'll be moving the decimal to the right so here we are going to move the decimal one two so you move the decimal until you pass the non-zero number we cannot drop it here because there's there, there's still a zero we've just passed the zero but immediately we pass the non-zero number we drop the decimal then we forget everything that we've passed here so it's going to be uh it is going to be 5.33 multiply by 10 how many steps have we moved one two so negative two then we put the units meter so that is the number in scientific notation i guess you'll have no problem on this part then how many significant figures does the venia calipers reading in meter have so now here which means you need to apply also the concept of number of significant figures i don't think i need to explain here you know that all numbers from one to nine are significant if they appear in the measurement but zero has condition it can be or cannot be significant when is zero significant so zero is significant when it is between non-zero numbers. Okay, you count it as significant. For example, 5.001, this has four significant figures because this zero, these zeros are between non-zero numbers. Okay, now, if you have the number such as 500, like this, this has only one significant figure. All these zeros are just placeholders. Now, what about if you have a number such as 0 0.2? Uh, 0200 zero, zero. because of this decimal these zeros at the end are significant so here we have three significant figures i guess you have to refresh on this one so here number of significant figure we can say is three significant significant what uh figures we can say three significant figures so that is the answer to uh this question okay so we've answered fully that first question we go to the second one. The figure below shows part of the venia calipers. 
what is the reading of the venia calipers now one of the questions that we expect here i'll get to add some questions that have not you know we've not come across here so we are finding the reading as well so as we said main scale reading plus venia coincidence multiplied by the least count that is the formula that we can use so the main scale reading we get it on top here so how are we going to get it? You know that it's supposed to be immediately before it crosses this line. Okay? So now how are we going to get this one? We don't have a number here where we can start counting. You know that each division is a 0 0.1. But we don't have the number where we start counting here. So what do you do? This time around, the previous one, we were counting, adding from 5, we were adding 0 0.1, going forward, per division. But this one will be subtracting, going backward. We're going to move backward. So from 8... The number that is behind 8 is a 7. And a 7, if you subtract a 0 0.1, you are going to find uh, 7.9. So the main scale reading here is 7.9 uh, centimeter. Plus, let us find the venial coincidence where it is coinciding. So this is a 0. That is a 10. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have a 5 multiplied by 0 0.01 centimeter. So this one is 7.9 centimeter plus uh, five, 0 0.05 centimeter. And to find the answer here, we just add this and it's going to give us 7.95 uh, uh, centimeter. The good part is that you have a calculator. You just have to know how to pick these. I guess you have no, I, I guess no one has a problem on this part. Then the other question that you expect is perhaps what is the physical quantity that this instrument measures. So the physical quantity that it measures is uh, the venia calipers. And you need to know the types of physical quantities. We have basic fundamental quantities and those are the ones that we get direct from the instrument of measurement such as mass, temperature, uh, temperature, um, current and all those. Then we have a uh, derived quantity, those that we uh, get by multiplying or dividing uh, basic quantities such as density, acceleration, uh, velocity, all those. You need to know them. Okay. Then let us have a look at the second question. Write uh, in words the SI unit of the following physical quantity and state their symbols. You see? So, write in words. So, you need to know the units and uh, symbols that is the units in e, words and symbols si unit are just units that are accepted it's not that um temperature since it can be measured in a celsius and degree doesn't mean that the si unit of temperature is degree the si unit of temperature is kelvin so let us have a look at uh, let us answer the question so this one velocity in words is just meter per second okay then in symbol is just m s then this one or you can write m s like that then this one temperature is kelvin then just a k okay then this one is acceleration is a um, meter per second uh, square then m S, you can write it like that or m um, the one that we are used to this one okay all right so we've come to the end of this presentation so please uh the reason i didn't include the micrometer screw gauge because in the previous one there's a recording where i did the micrometer screw gauge of course and I explained how to get the reading so find that video please before you go in an exam otherwise we can end here for those that are writing next year you can join us for online lessons at an affordable price, which is as 100 kwacha per subject. If you are in Zambia, you can contact the number 0976 402563. Otherwise, see you in the next one.